News 10's Clary Markley shot this video early today over in West Terre Haute at the Wabashiki wetlands. Of course, all the rain we've had, the rising river has really made the wetlands wet, as you can see. Now, the wildlife, I'm sure, just really like this, but uh, for the rest of us, it's kind of a hassle. So we got a lot of rain, and we got 19 hundredths of an inch of rain here at the television station. So what I'm tracking for you now is breezy and much colder. You may have already noticed that. If you step outside, you will notice it. And then Wednesday sunshine, so some sunshine tomorrow, but then we get into tomorrow night, then we have a snow and wintry mix. So the threat tracker tomorrow, I'm gonna to put with it being uh, no real threat tomorrow. So we're gonna be okay tomorrow. If you have errands to run, things to do, Probably not a bad idea because by Wednesday night into Thursday, that's where we go up to the alert category on the threat tracker with snow, sleet, and freezing rain, or maybe a combination of all of those. And some lingering flurries on Friday morning will put the threat down to caution. So Thursday and Friday, it gets kind of iffy for travel, especially on Thursday night into Friday. So here now is the storm tracker. You can see this cold front right here. It's very, very, very clear. And I'd like to point this out to you because you can see how the temperature drops. See now in Terre Haute, it's 49, Casey 45, and Newton 45, and Robinson 53. And this is necessary. We need this colder air in order to have the kind of weather we're going to be having. And that's why I'm watching another system for you. It's going to be coming in as we get into Wednesday night and Friday morning. Here's what we're expecting right now as we go through Thursday to uh, 12 o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday. Look at this. See, this is sleet and freezing rain right in through here. This is not, uh, I don't like seeing this color, frankly. And then some rain farther to the south before this all changes over to snow. So this could be a bit of a slippery drive as we get into uh, Friday, Wednesday night through Friday morning. Uh, what we don't know about this is where the snow, ice, and rain lines will be. Right now I'm thinking that the greater chance of snow is going to be around Terre Haute and then farther to the north, the farther south you go, maybe a little rain and sleet and freezing rain. I'll have a much better idea tomorrow. So here's what you can expect. Wednesday sunshine, especially in the morning, then some afternoon cloudiness. And then Wednesday night snow, some accumulation will be possible Wednesday night into the first part of the day on Thursday. And then I think it's going to quit for a while. After it quits for a while, it's gonna start back up. And that's when we have the possibility of the snow, sleet, and freezing rain. Of course, Storm Team 10 will be right here to get you through it all. It's winter time, so this is the kind of stuff we can expect. However, it can be a bit of a hassle for travel. If you need to do, do traveling on Wednesday night, Thursday, or maybe even to Friday morning, extra time, that's a good idea. 25, cloudy and much colder tonight and a gusty northwest wind. And then for tomorrow, 35, 35 is hard to take after 62 yesterday and 61 today. Breezy and cold tomorrow. And then for tomorrow night, snow developing, a cold northeast breeze. And then tomorrow night, we have that snow into the day on Thursday. It quits for a little bit. And then we have a wintry mix as we get into Thursday afternoon, Thursday night before it changes back to snow and some lingering flurries on Friday.